Hi, this is Florian Beyers with GitHub, and I'm going to show you how to use the GitHub Copilot chat view using a screen reader. I'm using NVDA 2024.1 on Windows 11 23H2, and the GitHub Copilot chat extension, which is different from the GitHub Copilot extension, within Visual Studio Code 1.88, which is the March 2024 release. First, we need to make sure we have the separate GitHub Copilot chat extension installed. Once this is the case, we can at any time use Control shift i to bring up the dedicated GitHub Copilot chat view. Okay, let's ask, uh, let's, let's show that off by actually opening it up and just asking GitHub Copilot chat a general coding question. We are now in the GitHub Copilot chat view. Let me ask it, what programming language is the best for a certain problem? What programming language for writing a mobile application that talks to a backend API on the web? Chat request sent. Chat response pending. There are several programming languages that are well suited for writing a mobile application that communicates with a backend API on the web. Here are a few. One, star star JavaScript, React Native, star star. React Native is a popular framework for building mobile applications that can communicate with a backend API. It allows you to write code once and deploy it on both Android and iOS. Two, star star Java slash Kotlin for Android, star star. Java is the traditional language for Android development, but Kotlin is now the preferred language for new Android development. Three, star star Swift for iOS, star star. Swift is the preferred language for iOS development. Four, star star Dart, Flutter, star star. Flutter is a newer framework that allows you to write code once and deploy it on both Android and iOS. It uses a Dart language. The best choice depends on your specific needs, the skills of your development team, and the platforms you want to target. Once in this view, we can provide GitHub Copilot chat context by providing the at workspace tag to indicate our question is about the currently opened workspace. When asked a question with the newly added at workspace tag, GitHub Copilot chat will determine what part of your workspace is relevant to the question you asked and answer appropriately. At workspace. How would we call the function that is in this workspace? Chat request sent. Deciding with workspace information to collect. Adding workspace info. Chat response pending. Determining workspace structure. Deciding with workspace information to collect. Adding workspace info. You can call the calculate days with mean new dates function from slash c slash user slash floor slash test one hundred twenty three dot js like this. JavaScript let start date equals new date twenty twenty two dash zero one dash zero one. Let end date equals new date twenty twenty two dash twelve dash thirty one. Let days equals calculate days with mean two dates start date end date. This will calculate the number of days between January first twenty twenty two and December thirty first twenty twenty two. Make sure to replace the dates with your desired start and end dates. Okay, that's great. We can look into this in detail by using the Alt F two key to bring up the accessible view for this message. Accessible view. Explore. Determining workspace structure. Land. Deciding with workspace information to collect. Land. As you can see, this is all the information we were told about automatically before. We can just look at it in detail now. This is the end of the video on GitHub Copilot Chat's dedicated view within VS Code. Thank you for watching, and please be on the lookout for more videos on this topic soon.